it's the best time of your life. Enjoy it while you can do it, and just embrace every moment and have a good time. Like, because you only get to do this if you're lucky four years, and then you're done. So enjoy it while it lasts. I mean, when you make a big play or a goal or something and the huge crowd goes nuts, it's awesome. Ah. You gotta go play for your, you know, your own school, so I, I, I've had the most fun out of my whole hockey career playing for my high school, and that's for sure, like, you know, I played AAA, double A, you know, I've gone to states, won states, and it still doesn't add up to playing for your own school. find out who the best of the best is and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun so just want to say congratulations to everybody for trying a uh, good luck to y'all and uh, let's have some fun today all right let's get ready to rumble <laughs> I'm Michael Bell, and on November 9, 2004, the Kenosha Police Department killed my son. The city of Kenosha settled with our family, and our family demanded that no confidentiality agreement be in place, and so therefore, we get to bring the information to you. Should a police organization be left to judge itself? I want you to be the judge. working people, working parents that are trying to balance their life in all aspects. I mean, you've got kids, you've got your home life, you have your work, you have your family, you have your responsibilities. How do you put it all together? How do you find your, your wellness? I'm Mr. Enthusiasm, and I talk about the power of our thinking and how our minds, are, our thoughts are magnets, and it draws to us. So are we thinking positively or are we on that negative track? So I want to share ideas with all of you coming out so that you can say, aha, I hadn't thought of that.
This workshop is different in that we touch on all areas of wellness. It is nutritional, physical, mental, emotional, relationships, and that is what every wellness plan should touch on. This is for you to find that happiness, to find that reconnect with yourself, um, and uh, to find that energy, that passion, that excitement, that love for life that we're all meant to live. And this is really a chance for you as an individual to take control of your own personal wellness. It gives you one day to develop your wellness plan for 2013. When you invest in yourself and you grow personally, whatever, if you have a business, that will allow your business to grow. But in, no matter what happens, when you come out that day, the investment that you put forward, your time and money, it will definitely pay dividends. Optimum Health, Peace of Mind Financial Plenty. Join us April 13th, 10 to 4, Saturday at the Lions Club in downtown Brighton. You'll be glad you did. Why would I want you to send your child here? Because I have the confidence that we would educate your child to become the person God's created them to be, intellectually, spiritually, physically, socially. And we here at Spiritus Santos Academy, we seek to educate the whole child in the Dominican tradition. The mission of our Spiritus Sanctus Academy comprises the assistance of families in educating their children in a virtuous knowing, living, and loving the truths of the Catholic faith. The distance from San Francisco. Through this unique educational environment, a Catholic culture is created in which students are challenged to develop a maturity of religious commitment, a depth of knowledge of the truth, a sound physical stature, and the social skills so necessary to live a life of virtue in today's world. When you come to Spiritus Santos, you, you're, you're coming to be a part of the mission that we have and the mission is, is focused on the person of Jesus Christ. So the faculty, the staff, have this personal relationship with Christ, and that naturally overflows into everything they do throughout the course of the day. We're a part of a long history of women, consecrated women, that have been a part of educating um, boys and girls in the faith, and working together with the laity. We've got a wonderful lay staffs of both schools that are committed to this, committed to educating children so that we can make a difference. There's nothing that can replace a Catholic education. We believe that here at Spiritus Sanctus Academy, you're going to find everything you've been looking for. Spiritus Sanctus Academy opened its doors in the fall of 1995 at Domino's Farms in Ann Arbor, Michigan, largely through the beneficence of Mr. Tom Monahan, founder and CEO of Domino's Pizza, and dedicated Catholic philanthropist. Transferring meters into kilometers. But benefactors exceed mere financial parameters. They also include the countless families and individuals whose passion is ignited by their personal love of the Catholic faith and whose generosity have led them to give of themselves in a myriad of ways, all of which are vital for the daily running of the school and continually breathe new life and energy into SSA's educational apostolate. This unique educational environment naturally lends itself to the spiritual formation of each child. The walls are adorned with beautiful artwork. We have chapels, which are the center of each school. We gather together every day for the celebration of Holy Mass. Faith and reason do not contradict. As Dominicans, um, the Dominican motto is truth. So as Dominicans, we are seeking to teach children to educate them in truth. And this comes in in language arts and math and science and social studies. 
We want to provide them with the strong academic foundation so that they can make a difference in the culture. We're going to do 11 laps today. In educating the whole child, the physical dimension is equally important. We have physical education classes, competitive sports, intramural activities. After all, we're body-soul people. Our age of technology and, and fast communication, the social dimension is, is a part that needs to be more thoughtfully taught in schools. And as we work with cultivating virtue in the lives of children and of parents and the teachers, this will, will round out the child to become more fully the person God's created them to be, to teach them the beauty of friendship, what it means to, to sit down and talk to somebody, to have a face-to-face -face conver conversation. This will prepare them for their vocation in life. And in general, where does the decimal come in scientific notation? The presence of young, happy, and well-educated religious sisters brought an enthusiasm and grace to the school, which parents were quick to realize and to want their children, as well as themselves, to experience and enjoy. You know, because as an adult, it's, it's never really about you anymore. It's about your children. And what are you going to do? What kind of legacy are you going to leave for your children? And that call came. Um, the Lord spoke to my wife and I, and uh, it was a, a, a very quick decision. Once we found out about Spiritus Sanctus Academy, there was no question in our minds that this was the school for our family and that it would always be the school for our family. We actually even moved closer to the school specifically for that reason. I have eight children. My oldest son actually was the very first kindergarten class to start here at Spiritus Sanctus and my youngest is in kindergarten right now. So we've been in the school for quite a while, we'll continue to be in the school for quite a while. We came in, um, we saw that the school was organized, we saw that the teachers were all on the same page and there was consistency from eighth grade all the way to kindergarten. All four kids in this beautiful place where they can learn the virtues and practice them and then go out into the world and show the world what integrity and trustworthiness and self-control and docility means, wow, that's the greatest gift I could give them. Students' talents and gifts are challenged and developed according to the individual's capacity. They are taught in manageable class sizes by highly trained and capable teachers whose dedication is second to none. After I left here, I found that I kept, even in high school and in college, I kept coming back to visit, to see my old teachers, to see Sister John Dominic, the principal, and that's when I kind of realized, oh, I actually really liked it here. You're quicker than that. Let's go. Former student and now SSA athletic director and teacher if James Cresta name, says this was the right know, place for him to teach. Okay. These are people who they know you as an individual. And even when I was here with all the students that they've had over the years, um, I still feel like they really have an interest in me and in supporting me and being a part of this community. I, I told Sister John Dominic when I came back to teach her, I said, I almost feel like I'm coming back to like the family farm or like the family business. Uh, and I'm coming back to work with the family because I've always felt like this school and these teachers are kind of an extension of my own family. Each student is encouraged to use their gifts for the honor and glory of God with the knowledge that future years will require the best they may have in making a unique contribution for a better world. It's just so enjoyable to actually learn and to actually truly comprehend, truly understand what you're being taught and to just bring it into your life. It's just like the connection between your education and your actual life is, is there. I wouldn't be nearly the person I am today. I'd be very different. Um, I've been so blessed to come here for all nine years of my, uh, my education so far, and it's been wonderful. I like the fact that you don't have to fit, like you don't have to be popular or anything. You can, you, everyone just fits in with each other. You always include everybody. Um, my favorite thing about Spiritu Santos is the academics. It's challenging, but yet it's fun, especially the teachers. The teachers really do guide us. So I went to Spiritus Sanctus starting in kindergarten and went all the way through eighth grade. Um, the school was, it laid a foundation for high school and for college as well um, that I didn't expect it to because I had nothing to really compare it to. But once I got to high school and college, I had a lot of background in um, 
faith first of all, um, but also um, academically speaking, um, I was a lot more prepared than I expected to be. Spirit of Sanctus Academy realizes that children learn best by what they see. Therefore, our teachers regard the Catholic faith as of highest importance in guiding their witness of their personal lives based on Christian moral principles. The teachings of the church are lived daily in both truth and charity. Well, most of my friends are at this school, but one of my friends who went to a public school thought it was really weird that we prayed and everything. And I said, actually, if you went here, I think you'd like it a lot. For more information and to request a tour of one of the two academies on Joy Road, contact us at 734-996-3855 in Ann Arbor or 734-414-8430 in Plymouth. Also online at spiritusantus.org. off into turn one. And we've got contact down in one and two and all kinds of trouble in the House CRA late model sportsman event as a driver's battling for positions three through five, maybe even to the sixth and final transfer spot getting together. Moved anywhere, but he's very fast this afternoon. Josh Nelms brings the feet, field to green, the Illinois driver with 71 laps to go. And with its single file restart, nearly stretched all the way around the oval here in Plymouth. And this is going to give a lot of these drivers a little bit more opportunity now that everybody's spread out. Yes, the tick. Maybe give some competitors chances to make a move they were not able to do when they were a whole bunch up at the beginning of this race. Boy, the number 42 car deep in the field, Nick Moore, got up in the outside lane, nearly slid up into the wall, but he kept it in the right direction. Kurt Segvich all over the back end of the 28 of Jason Thompson out of Shirley, Indiana. Afternoon, set a new track record, but he's having a tough time in traffic. And Brian Ross on the inside of Reinhardt up the banking, but we've already got caution. Down in turn number four, the number two has spun Bill Hartman. Bill Hartman from Marcellus, Michigan, a spin already had been banged up from an earlier mishap on the raceway. He 